Okay, welcome to part two of our project. Now, what we have to do next is remove the grill. So there are three bolts from the fender, two on the inside. There is a center bolt, which mounts to the body mount. And there are six bolts on the rad. Loosen up the bottom two and remove the top two. They're really tricky to get at. You're going to need some open iron wrenches and a lot of patience to get this one done. And uh, I've just gone ahead and now that we're the signal lights are going to be in the center of the grill, you can just go ahead at this time and uh, patch up those, shave those. Now I used a fiberglass. First we put some steel over it just to give it, uh, give it a little bit of hold. I'm going to use a fiberglass mesh with the uh, resin mixes it's uh, pretty difficult once it's hardened it's hardened it's it's actually really hard so you're really gonna have to use an angle grinder to take it down if you put too much on and then after that went for a little bit of bondo glass which has some uh, reinforced fiberglass just to make it a little bit stronger so it's not gonna crack and then just your traditional body filler in there and then finally just your bondo over top then after that you want to put a little bit of primer over the whole thing and that's going to just reveal any imperfections and then just use a little bit of glaze and putty over all the little small spots sand it down uh, about a 600 grit works well at this stage and you can see this uh, this fender had some major rust on it so we went ahead and patched those up while we patched the front fender you can see it's starting to get a real nice CJ look to it so I'm just going to go ahead and paint my whole front end while I'm at it. Why not, right? So basically the CJ2A grill is a little bit too long to squeeze into the TJ grill. So right now we have a couple options. We could slice it in half, take a chunk out of it, put it back together just to expose the bottom ring. Or we could just cut it as is, put a frame cover over it. So those are your next two options. I'm deciding to just give it one slice and put it in, just put a frame cover over it and maybe a winch in front or some fog lights to kind of cover it up. But uh, I think it'll look good either way. Yeah, if you cut out a chunk either way, when you mend it back together, you're still going to see that line regardless, right? So I'm deciding to just cut a slice off the bottom and just fit it into the TJ grill. And one other thing, the uh, lighting assembly actually had to be cut right down the middle just to get it out of the uh, the original grill. So I just gotta slice that out because there are no clips to reattach it. So you have to slice it. Just disconnect your battery cable and, on, and slice that. Okay, paint her up.